Hey everyone, welcome to the screencast for Sunday, November 17th. Hope you're all having a great weekend. Hey, schedule for the week. We have uh, nothing on Monday. The FRP meeting is the uh, flex space that we're working on um, that everybody will be able to use. That's on Monday. On Tuesday, we have a number of different things going on. We have a couple of music programs for fourth and third grade, both in the day and at night. Looking forward to that. On Wednesday, we have a staff meeting at 8 o'clock in the Media Center focused on PBIS. Thursday looks like a pretty good day there. And then Friday, we have a third grade breakfast and a rally. So lots of different things happening as we head toward the last week before Thanksgiving break. Also, um, last Wednesday at our staff meeting, we had a presentation on vaping. I said I would share that with you. I had not. Uh, here's a link to that if you're interested in seeing more information about uh, what was presented. Hey, last week uh, we had our math walkthrough and uh, Rachel Jens and uh, Sarah was part of that as well as our new learning supports who just wanted to get in an elementary school. Molly uh, was there too. And just as a reminder, um, it is very much like literacy where we know that a Math walkthrough is just really a snapshot of what's happening in math. It's kind of like sticking the dipstick in. We can't see everything, uh, but it gives us some ideas on, on uh, what we can, what we see in both our building and across the district as we make plans for staff development. Uh, some of the strengths that we saw, we definitely saw students purposefully engaged in math. We saw a lot of use of manipulatives. We know that that's important for students to help uh, math uh, make more sense. A lot of learning targets posted. Just about every room had our learning targets posted for math and reading. That's always good to see because that helps students know what they need to be learning. And whole group, uh, we saw students interacting with peers, with turn and talks, things like that. So that was exciting to see. Um, always areas for growth. One area to grow that we just have started talking about this year is talk moves. Uh, so I know we'll be focusing on that as we move forward. And then anchor charts and word walls. Anchor charts are, you know, those uh, things that show students what uh, what the processes are, what 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 you're doing in math. Uh, word walls, uh, that's kind of a tricky one because uh, we are interested in word walls for literacy and math. Totally understand that we can't have everything up in word walls, but it's something to think about. How could we, how could we uh, engage students in word walls so they can see what is uh, what they're learning and, and, and be able to reference that same with an anchor chart so a lot of exciting things to see i got to tell you every time i go into classrooms and focus on curriculum um, i go away with um, just a lot of great things to think about and, and fun to see what's happening i know from talking to sarah as a teacher for her to be able to go in and see what was happening in different classrooms uh, she came away uh, uh, excited about some of the things that she's seeing too and, and how she can use some of those things in her own classroom so um, that was fun to see. And also thinking about math, um, we had our BLT, our, our building leadership team meeting after school last week. And uh, Andy Kubis and Rachel Jens came to that and they were talking a little bit quickly about math. Um, Andy, uh, you might remember, is now in charge of, of curriculum and uh, instruction. And Rachel uh, works with Andy on that. And one of the things that I took away from Andy is saying that they're definitely uh, were some implementation mistakes, and he's really working to try to fix on that or try to fix that. A um, couple things that I I heard him say: one, uh, you know, we we tried to do a pilot of uh, implementation with expressions, but it really wasn't a pilot when you look at how many people were doing it. Um, workshop week, uh, we know that there wasn't a lot of time for uh, staff development on implementation. You might remember we were um, also doing our. Uh, um, BAS assessments during that time and that's that's a that's a trade-off there's less time for implementation which is especially tough when we're starting with a new thing like expressions also consistency um, there isn't a lot of consistency or there hasn't been across the district when it comes to math there's a lot of different ways that we're doing that one example he gave is um, flipped math uh, some are doing that some aren't that's hard for kids as they move uh, from grade to grade um, so a couple things I took away from him uh, moving forward, um, consistency. We really need to be following the scope and sequence of math, of, of when we say we're going to be teaching things. I know that might be a little different than what some people have heard in the past. Um, and then also we're really trying to focus on our uh, math workshop model and guided math, uh, uh, coordinating that with expressions, which I know from talking with people is difficult. Uh, I know that's the goal that we're doing as a district. So 
while some of that is hard, I also think it's it's good that we have a have a little bit more of a plan on where we're going with math. Um, obviously, there's a lot to work on. So excited um, to hear that. Excited that we'll have at least a little bit more time to focus on math when we get to um, our Monday staff development, uh, but just some different things to be aware of there. I want to talk a little bit about behavior, um, a couple different things on that. Um, student referral sheets, those, those blue sheets. If you are sending a student uh, to the quiet room, it's really important that you fill those out and give those to Paula. If you can't fill them out right away, please call or email uh, Paula so she knows what's going on with those students. I know that's hard when you're in the middle of teaching, but it's also hard on Paula's end if she's trying to support you and, and, and work with those kids with those, whatever the problem is. So. Um, if you can't fill that blue sheet out right away, uh, make sure you let uh, Paula know what's going on and then get that to her later. The other reason for that blue sheet, and make sure that we put that information into the system so we can track things. I realize that's another thing to do, but um, it's important. So I, I appreciate your help with that. Um, also a reminder, uh, Paula's lunch is from 11 to 11.30. Um, so about 11.30 to 1, we typically don't have someone in the quiet room unless there's uh, someone that, that needs to be there right at that time because we want Paula out at recess uh, if there's no one in the choir room. So if you need help during those times, call the office. Uh, we'll reach out and uh, get someone to help you out, and then Paula can come in if need be. Uh, so just be aware of that, and uh, if you have questions on that, let me know. Um, thank you on that. Hats and hoods. Uh, had a lot of questions about those lately. Um, we, you know, in my mind, those are things that should be off in the hallway. We want to be able to see faces, make sure people are able to understand what's going on and, and that we're able to communicate. So if you see a student that has a hat or hood on, um, just quietly encourage them to take that off. Don't need to make a big deal about it. Um, if that student gives you a pushback on that and you've asked them um, uh, respectfully and, and quietly often pulling them aside, let their teacher know or let someone else know about it. We don't need to make a huge deal about it, but we'll follow up on that. Um, you know, there are a few exceptions to that. Uh, Sometimes uh, when students are coming into the school with their winter clothes on or going to recess uh, or uh, leaving at the end of the day, obviously that's not something uh, I'm, I don't think we should be concerned about. Uh, but if it's in the middle of the day and, and, and kids don't have their winter stuff on, um, then I think we should have hats and hoods off. Um, also, there is we do have at least one student um, who has uh, a hat or a hood on because of uh, because of lack of hair and, and, and having problems with that. So that's why I'm saying if you talk to uh, kids about it, just do it real quietly and respectfully and, and, and kindly and, and ask them nicely and if they have a reason why they can't. Well, thanks for your help with that and, and trying with that. Uh, so just be aware. Um, also, this is something that we could all work on together. We want to make sure that we're all in this together and, and supporting each other and just respectfully asking kids to take those off. Um, I'm not worried. I know we've seen a lot of um, headbands on too or, or bandanas. I'm not worried about that. Um, that's not interfering with us being able to see kids' eyes. It's, it's a matter of uh, style and, and kids expressing themselves. I'm fine with that as long as it's not causing educational uh, problems in that matter. So let me know if you have questions on that, uh, but we could all use each other's help and, and just um, trying to help and, and make sure those are off as we move forward. Hey, a little information about a professional development plan. Monday, we will be at Westwood all day. You might remember you were asked uh, to provide some information for DIT as to what we wanted to do with math. We'll be at Westwood as a building from eight until 11. Uh, we'll have some lunch. Uh, computer science intro from 12 to 1. Uh, we'll be focusing on literacy from 1 to 2.30. And from 2.30 to 3.30, we'll be doing some building things. Uh, so just be aware of that. And then after that, man, you have your Thanksgiving break. And I know we are all excited about that. So a little bit of the plan on that. Hey, finally, uh, just a few things about report cards. Our report cards go out in February. Uh, just a reminder that all grades uh, will need to be entered by February 18th. Um, our plan is to have report cards go home in Thursday folders on the 20th. Um, hopefully, you've been entering your grades along the way, um, so that would make things a little bit easier. Let me know if you have any concerns about that. Uh, that's pretty much the plan that we had from last year. Well, that's all I have. Enjoy the rest of your day and see you tomorrow. Take care, everyone.